Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the 12th of December, midweek here. Just looking at this cable chart. Uh, still under pressure, as there's really no end in sight to this Brexit botch job. Uh, we don't really have a dog in this fight. We're just kind of watching it and mainly watching it because it's dragging all of um, dollar pairs with it. So Euro is sort of dragged down from the high 113s to the low 113s. Um, and this is all basically just cable driven. Bonds are moving around a little bit, but they're really unchanged so far this week. Um, even slightly higher, so the yield, the U.S. yields are maybe slightly a little bit lower. Cable is driving the bus uh, in the G10 space here. We really uh, don't know what to do with it, so we're not going to do anything with it. Uh, on the euro dollar side, you can see we're here at the bottom end of this range. There's really not much to do with euro dollar until tomorrow, right? So we have uh, ECB tomorrow. We are expecting them to be mildly hawkish, as we said, as in, actually not mildly hawkish, I would say undovish. So we're, they're going to end QE um, and sort of be less dovish than they have been for the past sort of five or six meetings. Uh, and if that does come to fruition, uh, euro dollar will go higher, and the key will be to break yes uh, Monday's highs, which is 114.41. Lots of forces pushing and pulling this. Uh, you got these negative forces, which is Brexit, Paris, you know, political problems in Paris, Italy. We've talked about this, and then you have the equal and opposite forces, uh, you know, perhaps a Trump impeachment, uh, you know, deficit problems in the U.S., maybe rates going lower now, U.S. stock markets are turning and cratering, so will there be an exit of dollars that are sitting in the NASDAQ and the S&P? Both stories, both sides of these stories are kind of almost equal and opposite. So we're going to wait for the next sort of big trigger push, and that push could be tomorrow with the ECB, so we'll be watching that very closely. What else is there out there? Not too much, really. Uh, we're just kind of in a waiting mode here. We're watching this Aussie Yen just because of that weekly bar that we pointed out at the open. This is a very bearish, uh, bearish engulfing. Uh, bar in Aussie, and so this does look like it's worth a sell, sort of at the 50 to 61.8 percent retracement. Um, but we're not really too close to that right now, so we're not too worried about it. We continue to like dollars are higher. Uh, also bullish engulfing on the weeklies last week, but we do think you're going to be able to get some dollars down at this uh, sort of 13, uh, 14, 15 area. Um, to reinstate longs in dollars are. Basically, we're not really doing much of anything at the open today. We are just watching, so I won't waste my breath or waste your time with any great insights. Uh, just watching and waiting here. Good luck. Anything uh, comes to mind, I'll throw it on Twitter. Have a good day today, and I will speak to you tomorrow.